I was born in Melbourne. I moved back to Turkey when I was six with my family and that was a difficult time because there was a whole other language that I needed to learn. I felt depressed at school. I felt quite isolated and I really wanted to learn how to be a hairdresser. The qualification that I gained was hairdressing and beauty. I got a job but I experienced all of those barriers around not being able to communicate with people. So in 2010, we moved back to Australia. And as you can imagine, it was such a change for me. Everything felt new again. I remember going out on the train and into public transport and seeing Auslan for the first time. I started learning some signs. I went to class and look, I slowly got there with a lot of support from everyone in my life. In order to work as a hairdresser in Australia, I needed to then get another qualification. I got my qualification and I went off into the great big world looking for a job. But I quickly became really frustrated because as a deaf person, it felt like I had barriers and that people didn't want me to work with them or for them. Throughout that time, mum uh, helped me and I got some work cleaning. Finally, um, I started working at a kebab shop. I think four years or so I was there working, four and a half maybe. My sister um, and a friend of hers said, I know of a salon for a friend that potentially if we all go there, we can get your hair done. And then at the same time, maybe convince them to potentially hire you. She was my client. When she come first, then we start the conversation with her, uh, Dani's mom. And I said, look, I need someone to give me, uh, you know, hands. Having signed up with Matchworks, I've had a great deal of support from them throughout the process. It's been lovely as well. With Matchworks, I have, uh, I feel like I have a brother or I have a sister with me, supporting me. So in the case of Endless Hair, I was able to communicate with Dana via text uh, and also obviously by calling her mother, so just to confirm everything. I guess telling uh, Eddie that, you know, we would be there every step of the way, that we could communicate with Dana and her family and also them as well, that we could organise Auslan interpreters to come out and support Dana if needed. Uh, and they, they weren't alone. It really gives me a sense of achieving something and having a purpose and a job. I love it all. Dana was nominated for the NISA Achiever of the Year Award and she won. I've never won an award before in my life and to get that was like a big shock for me that I'd won. Of course, mum and dad were happy and excited. Mum was, had a little tear, a little bit of a cry and I said, mum, it's all right. We had a hug. I saw everybody looking at me and in one of my many cultures, but in our deaf culture, this is how we clap. And it was lovely to see all the hands in the air clapping. 